Welcome to The Wealth Transfer with TC. Today, I'm going to be discussing two prophetic words concerning the cryptocurrency STORJ. That's S-T-O-R-J. And I believe these are important prophetic words, especially concerning multiplication of the finances. And currently right now, uh, being in the month of July, there are some prophetic things that we are waiting on. We're looking at uh, Bitcoin and what it's going to do, and also Luna C and USTC, whether it comes from Luna or whether it comes from the Bitcoin buy limit orders, we're going to have the seed money to be able to not just get into XRP, but a lot of the other cryptocurrencies that you've been wanting to get into, right? Some of the prophetic ones. Now, first, before I get in this, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just sharing information, giving you my thoughts and my opinions on this information. So if you guys like these videos that I make, the support links are down below in the description and also the about section of YouTube. Now I'm going to share two prophetic words about storage, and that's S-T-O-R-J. And one comes from Maria Conwell, and the other one comes from Kevin, a Patreon supporter and part of the TC Watch Group. So, but in one of these prophetic words, is going to be shared about approximately when that you're supposed to put in your limit orders for storage. So don't go out and buy it right now because it's going to be a lot lower than where it's at today. So let me go ahead and go over the first prophetic word that was given by Dr. Maria Conwell. And this comes from onesmallflame.com. And this is on her Crypto Words Dreams, where you can go and look at her prophetic words concerning some of these cryptocurrencies. Uh, so this was back on September 16th, 2021. The Lord told me to buy storage last week. Storage is a cryptocurrency that provides data storage service for the blockchain which they charge money for. It's been trading recently in the range of $1.44 to $1.50. The word was buy more storage. This will be like Ethereum in the last bull run. Well, I thought this was very interesting because Ethereum was also in the same price range, about $1.50, back in March of 2016, prior to the bull run in late 2017. Then it went up wildly in the fall of 2017 and peaked at 1,421 on January 14th, 2018, a 947 fold return on investment. It then dropped down to $80 in December 2018 before making another bull run up to $4,380 on May 12th, 2021, a 54 fold return. All right, so what she is saying is, is that at some point in time, storage is going to make a bull run like Ethereum. So say, for instance, being at $1.50 and that it shoots up all the way to $1,421, it's a 947-fold return. Right? Then, of course, it dropped down. Right? Just like I always talk about, folks, this is why you can't always hold and you have to be ready to hit that sell button when you see certain investments. In this case... It's going on a bull run, and there's going to be at some point that you're going to hit that sell button because you know at some point it will come back down, right? And then after it came back down to $80, it made another bull run all the way up to $4,380. So she had that prophetic word in September. She bought in around at that point, and, you know, it did reach a peak in November, $2.96, just like the rest of the cryptocurrency markets, it came all the way back down. It actually came back down and hit around 33 cents. All right. And you can see currently right now it's at 64 cents. So one of the things that you don't want to do is go out and buy this right now because they're, the next prophetic word that I'm getting ready to share with you is going to tell you approximately what pricing point to purchase it at. All right. So this next dream comes from Kevin K. All right. He's part of the Patreon and the TC Watch group. And he sent this to me, and he gives some insight dealing with Luna and about where approximately uh, where storage will be at around and probably the rest of the markets. Now, the interesting thing about storage is that when it was around its 33 cent mark, right, all the markets were down and still are down, but it actually made a run up to almost a dollar. We've talked about this prophetic word of storage. It's on the prophetic list. And then I received the next prophetic word that deals with a time period where we could see it at a very low point along with the rest of the markets and how Luna may play a role 
and being the seed money for storage. And I believe that Luna is actually going to be seed money for a lot of different things like XRP and maybe some of the other cryptocurrencies you've been wanting to get. So this next prophetic word, this prophetic dream that comes from Kevin K that he had on the 21st of May. And he says here, in the dream, I was looking at coin market cap and I sorted it out by top gainers in the last 24 hours. Store J was at the top. It was up 47% and it was currently at 20 cents. Further down the list with both Luna C and USTC, both were up in the 20% range and both were 10 cents. Store J is currently over 70 cents. Also on that day, it would have to have started at around 13 to 14 cents. This means it would have had to have dropped hard like the rest of the market. Of course, Luna C would be far higher than it is right now. So that's a very interesting uh, prophetic dream. He was looking at coin market cap. He sorted out by top gains in the last 24 hours. Store J was up 47%, and it, but it was at 20 cents. So which means that it would have had to have been around the 13 to 14 cent range. All right, and further down the list with Luna and USTC, but both were at 10 cents. That means Luna C was around 8 cents and so was USTC. During this decline of storage and probably the rest of the markets, Luna C and USTC were still doing very well. USTC right now is around 6 cents. Uh, Luna C, you know, has three zeros, you know, one, two, five, whatever. So that means that by this point in time, Luna C will have been doing very well. And you will be able to take some of that seed money and put in your buy limit orders for around 14 cents for store J. Now, it's to say it could go lower than that. Basically, this dream that God shared with him is showing that how low storage is going to go. So if it was up... 47%, you know, that 13 to 14 cent range. Whenever you get your seed money from Luna, if you want to, this is, like I said, this is just another multiplication of the finances in the seed money because not everybody has money to get into all these different cryptocurrencies. But if Store J is going to make a run like Ethereum, that means your seed that you sow from Luna C or USTC and you place it in the Store J, it's going to multiply it dramatically, 947 fold return. So I believe that this could be around the same time as when the markets fall really hard. So during this time period, when everything else seems to be down, Luna and USTC are going to be doing very well, All right? So that's going to be, that's one, that's the one way that we'll have our seed money to invest in some of these other cryptocurrencies. So hopefully I've explained this. To where you guys have an understanding that we're supposed to take our Luna C money, which is our seed money. And that's what uh, Prophet of Sharon was talking about. And this is going to be one of the other cryptocurrencies that we'll get involved in that's going to make a massive run. So you currently see where Store J is at right now, 64 cents. And Bitcoin is around 19184 for a low of 18966 So... Uh, Bitcoin was fluctuating around the 20,000 mark. Remember, it got down to 17,600. So in order for Store J to be between 13 to 14 cents at least, that means that the markets would have had to fallen even harder than going down to 17,600. That's just the way that I look at it. So we just take this day by day. And when you when you have your seed money from Luna, uh, you'll be putting it into, which is one of the instructions, is XRP. And then we also have Store J2 as well. And it's going to be a great multiplication. And folks, we are here in July. And things are getting ready to change. But I do believe that this is going to be the alternative to placing in Bitcoin buy limit orders because not everybody everywhere can do that. People who live in Canada have a lot more restrictions than other people like here in the United States or other people around the world and other people in other countries might even have stricter restrictions than in Canada. So the alternative to people who can't find the platforms or be allowed to sign up for the, for the platforms 
that will allow you to put in the Bitcoin buy limit orders. Luna Classic uh, would be your alternative. And Luna Classic right now is at 0.001255. Right, so you're going to see that jump from where it's at to 10 cents. And we are expecting the news, the tweet from KuCoin. There is already one small exchange in Europe. They, they don't have very many uh, subscribers. They're a newer platform. Uh, they did announce that they would be implementing this burn tax. And we've heard from Binance as well that the CEO supports the burn tax. And there's a lot of rumors saying that they're going to burn off all the all the Luna Classic that they have. That's going to boost the price up dramatically. But that all remains to be seen. I think we're mainly anticipating KuCoin to make that tweet that w- that they will be implementing that burn tax. And I think that's going to push up Luna Classic dramatically. So that is all that I have for today, folks. Hopefully I've explained this. And always pray about what you're supposed to do in your situation. Everybody's financial situation is different. Everybody lives in a, a different state or a different country. So I thank you guys for listening. God bless. TC out.